hello guys welcome back to my channel i am jitender from the office guy tutorials today we'll be looking at this cool looking animation i will learn how you can make this in powerpoint so let's get started so let's take a new slide and we'll go to the layout option here and we'll change the layout option to blank now we'll draw the shapes here how you can draw the shape it's very easy here we'll come to the drawing tab and we'll find the shape option here in a rectangle if we have an option of the, the second option rectangle with round corners we'll take this one and we'll draw a decent length it's all up to you you can increase or decrease it as per your choice and just drag it to center until it becomes like a circular image kind of thing so here we go we got a basic shape now if you can see carefully here it's white in color so if i give white this it will not be visible so what is the best, op best option we'll give it a color so we'll give a background a color so i'll right click i'll go to format background i'll come out of the gradient and i'll give a gradient color so I'll take a three point gradient. I'll take top as you can say a 5% darker, bottom also 5% darker, and in the mid, I'll take you can say a 25% darker or 35% darker. So you can see you will get like a floor kind of thing. The floor is here and it touches a wall here. So it, you will get a feeling like this. Now I can change the shape fill, select the shape shape fill you can give a white color come to the shape outline option and give it a no outline now next we'll come to shape effects come to shadow and give it a shadow so what what happens when you give a shadow it separates out from the background so now you can see you have a shadow here now let's move on to making to make this shape so how we can make the shape it's pretty easy we'll take this oval tool by pressing shift i'll I'll drag this here so I'll get a circle here and I'll draw another rectangle here and I'll just place it carefully so that it passes through the half it divides the circle into half I'll just select this first a because I need to subtract this to get this half to get this half I need to subtract it so I'll do a minus B so the result will be subtract so I'll get the shape back here I'll do a shape fill. I, you can choose any of your own color. I'm going with this uh, shade of orange. And I'll give shape outline as no outline. Just bring it here back and we'll place it carefully. The size looks pretty big. So I'll reduce the size. I'll press shift and reduce the size carefully. Place in center. Now if you see here, it looks like it's coming from inside. So yes, that's correct. We need to give it a little effect on this. So I'll take shape effect, I'll go to shadow and I'll give an inner shadow. So here we go, it's done. So we have given an inner shadow to this. Now just for the tutorial to make it a little faster, I'll copy this shape from here and I'll just paste it carefully in the center here. Copy the text also and I'll paste here. So this motto, I'll reduce the size a bit. So I'm using a Roboto font here. So this goes in Moto and just it's a simple text box. I can place it. I just do copy paste. You can place it here. So making text box and all is not a big deal. So just to save time, I'm skipping all these things. One thing which I missed is you have a sh simple shadow. Uh, it's like uh, simple one shadow is there and as well as, as, well as a, there is a reflection from the surface. So how to make the how to make that? So I'll take I'll select this. The first white color rectangle which we made the corners as round i'll select that one i'll go to shape effect i'll come to the reflection i'll make a reflection if you feel the reflection is going too big what you can do just you can right click here you can come to format shape you can come to this second option effects reflections and you can reduce the size how much you want this looks decent to me because it's above my text so i feel it that to be better so now how we can make this uh, shadow effect here 
it's pretty easy i'll take an all this all i'll give a shape fill of black color with no outline i'll come to this effect options there is a option called soft edges i'll be just carefully i'll be increasing this number one two three like this when you feel this looks decent like small uh, so 14 looks good to me and i'll place it here uh, what i'll do i'll increase this opacity to 50 percent not 25 it's just for illustration so not make big deal here uh, sorry i'll make it 25 percent so that it should be a little darker and uh, here we go and just we can copy it four times five times how many numbers you want but if you see carefully we have an effect here this digits are coming here so i'll show you how we can make for one and remaining i'll copy so i'll take a text box a decent big text box i'll give a number one i'll increase the size font i'll be taking roboto light and i change the font color to white so that it should not be visible here but when i give animation it will be visible so this will be the final position this will be the initial so i'm just keeping it here and i'll give it animation to animation i'll give it as the motion path line so the line you can see it gives it's going down so i don't want it to go down so i'll just pick the red point i'll make it i'll position it here wherever you want you can place it so i'll position it here now let's see how it looks like so when i click it comes i feel it's 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 coming very slow so what i'll do i'll go to animation pane or you can just reduce the duration to somewhere near half second so now i'll see the preview again yeah now it's coming a little faster if you want to do more on this what you can do just we can click animation pane come to effect option and we can just increase the smoothing start anyhow doesn't matter so i'll increase the smoothing to full now let's see yeah now it looks even smoother and the same way what we can do we can just pick the duplicates of this by pressing control and drag so i'm pressing pressing control and shift and dragging so i'll add one two and three and four so you can see you have the animation here so just only thing left is you can change these colors as per your choice so quickly i'll do this so i'll make it blue i'll make one as green i'll make one as this yellow shade gold as in four so here we go and you can change the text accordingly so i'll quickly do education sports facilities so here we go we have this cool looking animation here on powerpoint every sunday and wednesday i post a new video like this so you can learn powerpoint word and excel very easily and perform well in your office or the your place of work thank you for watching this video